Shatter's opinion on them that they are not helping matters with the lady and not come back to the issue and back and forth, back and forth. So we know how that conversation has been. So around that same time where people were thinking that, ah, this guy, again, this guy is doing this, this guy is doing that, and he comes back to say, why are we not, um, why, he comes back to say, or, or he comes back to add Shatter to his list of artists who have been very influential over the years to some people it sounded like a, a, a contrast to them to some people it sounded like ah is it not this guy that we have known not to like our man to some people but you see facts are facts whether you see it from left or you see it from right facts are facts and again like someone said And that has been the story all this while. I also love the fact that when you follow the banter between fans of celebrities, musicians, especially in Ghana, and um, some media people or the media, or even among the fans themselves, or the fans against people who see differently from what the fans see. Sometimes when you follow some of these banter, you laugh. You either get angry or you learn something. Personally, I have been a victim of some of these things several times. I wouldn't say before. Several times. From my days as an active radio person through to doing everything in the media space till my current situation as a media person, cum, an artist manager for Shutter Movement Empire, I've encountered this several times in so many ways as well now one thing is certain and what is certain is that as it stands now there are so many misunderstandings especially when people who support artists come across others who have different opinions about them of course there are some people whose opinions are well informed opinions and there are some people whose opinions are ill-informed opinions. No two ways about that. We can't ignore the two. You go somewhere, you listen to some people talk, and you know, oh, this guy is speaking from a knowledge point of view. No negative emotions or attachment to it. That is fine. Sometimes you listen to some people and everything they are saying, you know, ah, whatever they are saying, is he even making sense at all? Does he even understand the topic that he is trying to delve into? All these things come together to form the ecosystem that we are operating in. Now, being a media person and being a member of the Shatter Movement family, I have seen various banter between Anoda Samuel Beidu, who is one of the astute entertainment journalists and the entertainment pundits here in Ghana. Of course, he's done it all for himself. Um, being the newspaper editor, sitting on boards of award schemes, um, being the behind-the-scenes PR persons for so many entities and celebrities as a whole, supporting events here and there. He's done great for himself, no two ways about that. And um, he's made a mark when it comes to the demand punditry in Ghana and beyond it. We can only give him his flowers for what he has been able to achieve for himself, and that is fine. And we also know that on the other side, his um, continuous banter and um, uh, disagreement and misunderstanding with Shatawale on the other side. Of course, the famous one happened on UTV some years ago when Shata did the State of the Industry address, decided to go to UTV to give further explanations to it and Anod had a different opinion. Once again, another disagreement, misunderstanding on an issue and it turned a, he a heated banter or a huge banter on the show. We all know the famous 250 Pesuel shoes and all the conversations around it. So because of that, and because Anod has taken his position that to him, if you go left and he's not with you, he's coming right hard with you. There are so many people who are also against some of his moves, against some of his statements, against some of his positions on some issues. I know, especially 
fans of Shatter Movement Empire. And I've been seeing that online going back and forth all the time. So one thing is also clear. I know that to him, whatever he takes his position on, he goes straight to say it. So in recent times, when an issue came and Arnold was addressing to him some of the artists who have been very consistent, who have been very impactful, who have been very influential over the past years, and he mentioned Shatawale. There are some fans who also received this with mixed feelings. Because one, they were not too sure whether to add to their plot to what Arnold said, or they should play the unlooking. And especially, coming right at the time that Arnold had another encounter with some Shatter Movement fans, um, shades and um, attacks and um, insults left, right and center. Of course, it started with a fear, a fear as Antoine Singaton. Shatter's opinion on them that they are not helping matters with the lady and not come back to the issue and back and forth, back and forth. So we know how that conversation has been. So around that same time where people were thinking that, ah, this guy again, this guy is doing this, this guy is doing that. And he comes back to say, why are we not, um, why he comes back to say, or, or he comes back to add Shatter to his list of artists who have been very influential over the years to some people. It sounded like a, a, a contrast to them. To some people, it sounded like, ah, is it not this guy that we have known not to like our man? To some people, but you see, facts are facts. Whether you see it from left or you see it from right, facts are facts. And again, like someone said, facts really don't care about your emotions. Facts don't care about your emotions. So on the D Black um, on Cut show, Arnold was quoted to have said that indeed there are some musicians who have been very influential over the past years in Ghana and he couldn't take Shatawale out. There is a video evidence to this that I want you to watch. Um, watch it and when I come back I'll tell you more about it before we continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is your boy. Wale Music TV. Send subscribe my shots. So wanna subscribe him? If you wanna click bell, no do. Now me the video be out tomorrow. I want the first person to share. If you wanna drop a comment to us, so Wale Music TV. Yes, shut the Wale Music TV. I have a more shut the news. Na update. Everything be a fine shut the Wale Music. I want to back on what the more plus for me do. Into bomb more than a subscribe. Next share. Now we that. And I was still who edge me day day with Wale Music TV. Video be a able post on what day be a a bad shut the Wale. Into say a shut the Wale no fan could send ya. Blend a bit of good news. Blend na be share. Na be subscribe. Na we blend that. Na we still who edge me day 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 with. Dama plus for me do. Vi do bi a yebo post mwa hadi bi a yeba shatawale. Nti se e di wundi de ya shatawale fan kwa ten di a blende beti good news e ba shatawale. Ne bo mwa dana na she. Na wo blende a na wo se sta. On hon e di me de ye di mwa wale music tv. Thank you.